It's Miss Christian here, and I'm so excited to give the Christmas message today. Doesn't it feel like Christmas just happened? It can't be a year ago. I feel like it was just yesterday. But yeah, I guess it was a year ago. And you know what's cool, kids? A full year ago, I was right here teaching the kids' message on Christmas. So maybe that's why it feels so familiar. Do you remember what we did last year? Hmm, let's see, I was talking about us having Zoom celebrations. I dressed up as a shepherd. We had videos from our kids talking about what they want for Christmas, who they're gonna give it to, and it was a really fun time. I encourage you to go back and watch last year's message because we also talked about the great gift of Jesus' birth. And this actually might be your first time watching the message from last year if you're a new kid and you get to see Miss Christian with blonde hair. So that's really cool too. From last year's message, we covered Luke 2, which was talking about the birth of Jesus and the first people that saw Jesus being born. Do you remember who the first people were to see Jesus born and celebrate his birth? That's right, we've got Mary. Yeah, she was definitely there. Joseph, Jesus' dad. We had the shepherds in the field and they were startled and in awe of all the angels that came and told them where to go to see Jesus. And these aren't people, but I'm sure the donkeys and the little animals that were there when Jesus was born were pretty excited too. There's some other people that sometimes we see in uh, Christmas cards with Jesus' birth or like nativity scenes or Christmas plays or shows. They are wise. They sometimes are pictured with crowns or riding a camel. Uh, sometimes there's three of them or more. You know who they are? That's right. We call them the three wise men. Uh, the wise men are such cool figures in the story of Jesus' birth. They weren't there when he was born, but they followed the star that appeared upon Jesus' birth. They were from the east and they said, that star is new. We're gonna follow that star. And by the time they arrived to Bethlehem, Jesus was a small child and they gifted him with gifts like gold, frankincense, and myrrh. We're gonna learn a little bit more about the three wise men. We are gonna go to Matthew 2, 1 through 12, and I'm reading from the International Children's Bible. It reads, Jesus was born in the town of Bethlehem in Judea during the time when Herod was king. After Jesus was born, some wise men from the east came to Jerusalem. They asked, where is the baby who was born to be the king of the Jews? We saw his star in the east. We came to worship him. When King Herod heard about this new king of the Jews, he was troubled and all the people in Jerusalem were worried too. Herod called a meeting of all the leading priests and teachers of the law. He asked them where the Christ would be born. They answered, in the town of Bethlehem in Judea. The prophet wrote this in the scriptures. But you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, you are important among the rulers of Judah. A ruler will come from you. He will be like a shepherd for my people, the Israelites. And that's from Micah 5, 2. Then Herod had a secret meeting with the wise men from the east. He learned from them the exact time they first saw the star. Then Herod sent the wise men to Bethlehem. He said to them, go and look carefully to find the child. When you find him, come tell me, then I can go worship him too. The wise men heard the king and then left. They saw the same star they had seen in the east. It went before them until it stopped above a place where the child was. When the, when the wise men saw the child, they were filled with joy. They went to the house where the child was and saw him and his mother Mary. They bowed down and worshiped the child. 
They opened the gifts they brought for him. They gave him treasures of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. But God warned the wise men in a dream not to go back to Herod. So they went home to their own country by a different way. Wow, kids, that is such an amazing story about the wise men. Again, sometimes we say three wise men, there could be more, um, but I'll go with three for now. So the three wise men, they came from the east, followed a star, didn't know what was gonna be underneath the star, and it was Jesus, the gift to the world. So they got a beautiful opportunity to come and worship the Savior for us all and bring gifts, very nice gifts to celebrate. This is also a great reminder that Jesus wasn't just celebrated when he was born. He was celebrated in so many moments on his time on earth. And you and I get to celebrate him every year during Christmas while he's in heaven. We get to celebrate him during Easter, Resurrection Sunday. And we can celebrate him anytime and every time. So that's an amazing thing that we get to do. And also a fun reminder, let's give gifts. This is a great way to exercise what the wise men did in giving gifts and showing honor. So we can show honor to our family, our siblings, our friends, and receive that honor as well through the form of gifts. What a great gift we have to celebrate Jesus all the time. Now, apparently, Miss Christian loves a good crowd because my last message on Queen Esther, we make crowns, the wise men wore crowns, so we're gonna make more crowns. I'm gonna get my crafts and I will join you in a second. All right, kids, we are going to make some toilet paper crowns. So really easy, really fun way to use some materials that you likely have in your home. You can use a toilet paper roll. So Ms. Christian already cut these out, but I'll show you how to do it. Or you can even use a paper towel roll. So this is a, a paper towel roll that was used. So you can look for some. Um, hopefully you don't have to get rid of all the toilet paper or paper towels to find one. And you can ask a parent for help because we're also going to use scissors. And we've got some glitter. Miss Christian got some very cool glitter. This one is stars and moons. And this one is soccer balls. Balls. Okay, we like that one very much. You're also going to need some paint. Miss Christian wanted to make the crowns gold, like the gold that was a gift from the wise men. So I have gold. Uh, you can use any color though, or multiple colors, or you could use markers. So you can get really creative. And then also a paintbrush. So if you're gonna use paint, you'll need a paintbrush. I'm also going to uh, protect my space so that I don't get paint everywhere. I'm gonna use a paper plate. And then you'll see Miss Christian also has a glove because the paint won't be dry yet for what I'm going to do. You kids at home, you can wait until your paint dries to do part of this, or you can have a glove like me or something that will make sure your fingers don't get covered in paint. All right, here we go. So the first thing that you'll do is you're going to cut some little crown shapes into your toilet paper or paper towel roll. Now I have some that are shorter, longer. If you're gonna use a paper towel roll, what you'll do is you maybe cut maybe a third of the way. So we'll just cut to make it more like a toilet paper size or smaller if you want, or longer. And then you'll just cut some triangles. So you'll see. So you'll just cut the triangle pieces all around until you have what looks like a crown. So I'll use my crown right here as an example. So I just cut, 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 and now I have a crown. The next thing we're going to do is with our paint. So I'll move my crowns over for now. And we're going to, let's see, release some of the paint. Oh, that's a pretty color. And what you'll do is you will use your paintbrush, dab, 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 and just paint that lovely crown. So this is going to make a very lovely 
gold color. This is metallic gold. And like I said, kids, the gifts that are listed in the Bible that the wise men gave gold, which we're pretty familiar with. Frankincense, it's still around. It's like um, something that maybe you would use to purify the air in your home. It's a nice oil. And myrrh is like an oil as well. So um, it can look like a little stone, but it's also an oil that can smell really good. It's a little really pretty. Yes, and Miss Christian is doing her best to not get paint on her. All right, so we've got our crown. Now what Miss Christian is going to do, I'm gonna set my crown there, I'm going to put my glove on, which I should have done beforehand, and I'm going to drop some of the glitter onto our other plate, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roll the crown around. So I've got some pretty stars and moons, and then I'm gonna also add the soccer ball. What I will do is I'm going to grab, let's see, just add some more paint over here. Grab our crown and roll it around. Oh yeah. Looking good. Okay, yeah, this is cool. So if you have other glitter pieces, you can also use stickers, you can use little googly eyes, anything that adds some coolness to your crown. Okay, this is looking really good. All right, so we have our very decorative crown and you can just let it sit. Oh, good thing I wore gloves. And let it dry. Now, I have a little friend that I'm going to use to fashion the crown. I think I'll use one that's not painted yet. But you can use mm, maybe a little string and wear it on your head. Uh, I'm gonna bring my pet Trixie, almost as cool as Chloe. Chloe's still the coolest pet that we brought. And my pet Trixie is here to fashion what you could do for a crown. So once this dries, Trixie can wear the crown like she is wearing this one. And so your friend could be a pet. It could be a doll, it could be yourself. You are now one of the wise men. So this is pretty cool. Now, Trixie, I'm gonna have Trixie go back down because the crown is not quite ready. But then once this one's good, she's gonna wear it. So this is fun to do for the holidays. Do it anytime and think about how you are honoring those who brought gifts to the one and true savior, Jesus Christ. Now, I hope this was fun, kids, and I hope you have a beautiful, wonderful, and Merry Christmas, that you give tons of gifts, and that you receive things that you love, and that you're able to honor and celebrate the birth and life of Jesus. We'll see you next year. Bye.